Chelsea. So when you look at Newcastle and the mm. progress under Eddie Howe, yeah. just talk to us, Rob, about how exactly, excuse the pun, mm. has he done it? Well, I think to, to think about the, the present and the future, let's just remember the past, Rebecca. 2016-17 season, both Newcastle and Aston Villa were in the championship, maybe thinking... Are we as big as we think? Well, they've got two managers installed now who've done a phenomenal job. And you say, Let, let's start with Eddie Howe. And I'm going to leave the X's and O's to Musty because I'm still working out that Villa team, <laughs> but I'm sure he'll explain all that as the day goes on. The first thing I think he's brought to Newcastle is an alignment. He's brought the football club together. It was a club that had so many factions that the fans weren't happy that Mike Ashley and Steve Bruce and the type of football, he unified everybody and he brought the club together, which was so important. There was a time when it was 10,000 season ticket holders decided they wanted to give their tickets back. Now, for love nor money, you can't get a ticket to, to see Newcastle. That's how well they're doing. So the alignment's in place. There's been an improvement of players. And it was interesting, the lineup against West Ham when they won 5 1, six of the starting 11 players were at the football club already. So he's improved players who were there. So I'm talking about Murphy, I'm talking about Willock, Almiron, Joe Ellington, Longstaff, players who, you know, under, under other regimes were not even in the first team picture. And then there's an attention to defence. And the criticism he used to get at Bournemouth that he loves his football, he, he plays, but he can't really stop goals going in. Well, with Byrne, with Botman, with Cher and Trippier, they've got the best defence in the league. And it's not just about a back four, it's about a team in front of them that are furious, that are aggressive, that stop teams getting at their goal. So a brilliant job by Eddie Howe, sort of revitalising this club and giving Newcastle fans a club that they're now proud of. Absolutely, that's mm. Eddie Howe. Unai Emery, how's he yeah. done it? Well, you know what, when Rob so speaks there, there's so many things that's very consistent with how Emery's done it to Aston Villa as well. Um, I think that being a connected team, I think, is really important. Um, bringing on players, the improvement of Ollie Watkins, John McGinn, uh, Douglas Luiz in midfield, there's tonnes of players that are playing to what we expect their level to be. But the main difference, I think, for this guy is good old-fashioned coaching. Good old-fashioned coaching, we saw it there, a little bit of fun with the lineup, but it is a little bit different. He's found a way to put this team together that gives opponents problems. They play out from the back, sometimes painful to watch, but that's what they want to do. And he's brought just a connected spirit to this team that's very similar. In terms of, like you said about a masterstroke, it was. Because isn't it, isn't it a good fit? Yeah. Emery's been at the big clubs, Arsenal, PSG, didn't quite work out. But he's done brilliant work at those clubs that are a little lower. Valencia, Sevilla, Villarreal in, in Spanish football. So this, I guess Villa fans, you know, maybe won't appreciate that. But they are just a little off the biggest clubs in English football. And it's a great fit and it's remarkable. This is the same team, Rebecca, yeah. that Steven Gerrard had. The same team, pretty much. It's all through coaching connectivity, motivation and continuity, doing a brilliant job. Well, like you said, maybe they are just a little bit lower, but there is no mistake, these no. two are still big clubs. Two giants that have been asleep maybe for a while, mm. Robbie, are, are waking up. Absolutely. And, and we talk about a big six, six, and if you talk about the, the profile of a big six club, about, you know, the global reach, the history... The only thing that these two don't have is current success because everything else, Rebecca, they tick the box. Mm. And we talk about a big six now in English football. If these two continue on the path they're on, if they get the right investment from owners that have got money, we're talking about a big eight in this football club. That's how big these are. But doesn't Rob. it feel like normal? For us that grew up in England, yeah, th yeah. these are, Villa these winning are proper, titles and being proper up big in the football league. clubs yeah. that it feels like deserve and should be in a, in a Premier League table that's in the top six or eight of the... Of course, there's tons of teams wanting to get there. Mm. But these two clubs now, I'm so, it's so good to see them thriving again with good people in charge, yeah. going in the right direction. Um, yeah, it's exciting for both teams. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.